Hey, it's Jill with Crick Flicks, and this is part two. Um, I'm not going to do upload them as as one video because they're way too long. The first one I did was an hour long, so I'm not going to take that much time on this. It's the continuation of the denim blue jeans, uh, two pairs of men, two pairs of women, um, two jackets, and a backpack. So I just did I don't even know which ones I did now but anyway I'm going to finish up here this is a pair of man's jeans and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my my little um, studs on the pockets and in this particular one they were silver and I'm using my Imaginesc to do it and now I don't know where my silver studs are well, so, well, that's okay. I'll just open up my tray here and see if they are in here. Silver. I don't use this thing a whole lot. Um, I don't know why, I always forget. And I just, sometimes I find it more of a nuisance to heat up that thing and, well, whatever. I'm going to use silver on this one, and these have a, a kind of a uh, heat, kind of like a, a hot glue on the back, and you use that little pink tool that I said here to heat it up and melt it and put them in place. They have gems as well. You can get both the metal and the glass kind of gems. Uh, those I don't really like to use because... It takes forever for it to heat up or to heat through that gem to melt it in place. The one that I really like it on is the metal ones, which I they have white, um, silver, copper, gold. Um, I have some red ones, but they're in heart shape, which you know I don't use them that often. So waiting for this to heat up. This is just battery. Um, heats up pretty quickly. Uh, the glue in the back, I can tell when it's melted because it'll start to seep out. And this one, when you heat it enough, melts rather quickly. And you want to make sure, another way you can tell if it's heated is if you try and move it. If it slides, that means the glue is hot, melting. Or you can just see the glue seep out. Which I thought on this one I saw but I might be seeing things. Oh, that was hot. I think that one was okay. <laughs> now I'm going to have to use a different one because it stuck to my finger. It was hot. Silly me. So, it's not like I don't have a bazillion of these. When I first started my business, which has been 10, 11 years now, I, whenever I would find something that I liked and thought I was going to use it quite frequently, I made sure to buy a lot. And this being one of them. So I have these little tiny tubes that they come in with. It doesn't tell how many are in here, but there is a ton. Because I've had these for years. I mean years. <laughs> I, I don't even know when I got them, but it's been a long time. And the glue stuck to my finger. It was melted. And I lift it. See, now I feel it's starting to slide, so I know. And you want to make sure that they're on um, there real good. Um, you can get these at Michael's, I know, has them, or always has had them. On, on um, scrapbookpal.com, it's all different kind of uh, crafting supplies like that. They have them. Uh, they're they're fun. It's just like I said. Some sometimes it just takes longer than I want to be messing with it. Um, through the back of these pockets on these jeans is like a leather, a brown leather cord. So I have this brown leather braid that I'm going to use to put through the back of that jean pocket. I put the studs on. I don't want to put a bunch of of um, gems on the guy's jeans. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to use hot glue on this one. I'm going to pick up these red gems before I drop them all over the floor. Very, very, very. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, like that, my camera just stopped. I'm wondering if my battery's going dead or if I used up all my space with my first video. Oh, well, hopefully it won't stop again because this is not going to take me long. Um, the jacket, I finished up the one side. It's drying, but I'm not going to film the other side of that. What I decided to go with on that one. You'll, I'll just put pictures. Actually, I'll put pictures on both videos. Okay, so there's the brown cord that goes across the butt, and I've got the the rivets on it. Now I've got my little thing here. I got to keep looking now to make sure that that's still recording. Um, my red outline on the tag. These are just taped on, Jay. So. Um, if you wanted to move them, they're just double-sided tape on them. Jenna put them where she thought most fit, and I think they look good where they are, but if there's any reason, I don't know what your vision was on that. We're... Okay, and this has got kind of a um, leaf pattern running through it, and the camera just, no it didn't. I just want it just went off again. I'm going to finish this one because it's almost my workout time then I will finish up after that guys I am really sticking to my guns with things that I want to do because I have always been doing whether it's taking care of grandkids or working or whatever that I don't always do what I want to do. So I have kicked in the new year with the new attitude. I'm going to do what I want to do. So I'm going to finish these up and then I'm going to go do my workout because that's what I want to do. Okay, here is a leather patch on the guy's pants. So what I have here is some faux leather. It comes on a uh, roll like this. I get these at Hobby Lobby. And I have a little strip cut somewhere. I'm done with this. So, here's my little strip. Now, again, I'm going back to that, that uh, fancy way of measuring. I eyeball it and cut it out. But that's, that works for me. And it takes a few tries. It's a lot easier for me to do it like that than it is for me to try and make a pattern. I just can't do that. So it doesn't have to be exact anyway because as long as it covers it, who knows what the shape of that was, right? So there we go. I've got a little leather patch over the leather that was here. And I have to keep looking there to make sure. See, now you to me that is a... An interruption for me to have to keep looking to see if the camera's filming which is kind of like what I was saying in my last video why I don't want to do live I don't like that I don't like looking at the camera every few seconds I think it's distracting um, I am taking a white gel pen that I get at Michaels um, the particular brand is written in white on a white pen so it says Jelly Roll. Um, the, this particular one is the best. I've seen all, all sorts of, I have different white ones. This is the only one that consistently works. Um, I really, really like it. And this one I've had for a few years and it still works. Now I'm gonna go through the center of this little leather patch that I put in here and put a couple full lines so it looks like stitching. This does not look like the patch that's on there because this is my view of that patch. And I'm going to take and put one of those metal, um, I don't even know what these things are, and put that in the middle of it. Because have you ever seen a pair of jeans that didn't have metal on it? I don't think so. Okay, and I'm gonna do the one loop on this one because it's only got one there. 
So, and again, I'm not going to put a bunch of glitter and junk on this because these are the guy's pants, the guy's jeans, the guy with the cute butt. Totally inappropriate, guys. What do you think? Totally inappropriate? No, I've been watching TV lately. I've been watching TikTok lately and YouTube. And I don't think there's anything anymore. I think that filters have gone to the wayside. I cannot believe some of the things that are said. On, I, I'm dating myself here, but um, when I was growing up, there were shows like the Dick Van Dyke Show. And I Love Lucy. And um, I can't remember what all these shows. And it was so funny because back in those days, whenever there was filming and there was a scene, I don't know how to explain it, a love scene, I guess, that the, it was the guy would always have to have, if they were in a bed, they had to, the guy had to have one foot on the ground during filming. You couldn't see it because of the way that they filmed, but it was a thing. They had to have one foot on the ground. Um, but I always, it, Dick Van Dyke and um, I Love Lucy, they had single beds. TV was so different back then because it was it was not considered uh, appropriate with children and there you know you didn't have control over um, setting guidelines on what they could and couldn't watch could and could not watch and I think of it now and I watch some of these things and I think there is nothing there are no filters whatsoever I just cannot believe um, and I'm not necessarily thinking that's a good thing because I don't um, especially when you have children watching I am very old school that I do not want my grandchildren to pick up that stuff but out of my control I raise my kids and I know and trust them as parents that they to put those filters in place themselves but TV nowadays nowadays they don't leave much for the imagination I am taking my Ranger liquid pearls I don't think this is the same color I used earlier however I don't see the other two here it could be no it doesn't matter it goes doesn't matter what it is. I'm doing the stitching on this because I really want it to show. And so all of the ones on the jeans that show, I'm just going over. Again, it, it just adds a little. It does. Okay, now I need to go. Good, I put myself in a... <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the last pair because, uh, like I said, my last video was way too long. Or I could do it right now because they're almost done anyway. One side's done. There we have it. And I don't think... There. Let me hold it up here pretty good and see if you can see the leather and the belt loop and just fun stuff that I put on there. Um, but this side didn't get the copper, so I am going to do that right now. And I can't lay it down because it's wet. So I, since I've got the wood running between the front and the back, I can do these are the best tweezers bee tweeze that you can get at Michael's and and they're very very easy to use especially grabbing strings of glue I don't know why I'm getting so much of that lately but um, there we go it was like 50 degrees out today and all the snow was melting and I get spring fever when that happens. I'm ready for the winter to be over and tomorrow it is supposed to be in the teens. So, 
freezing again. My nephew that came here from Colorado to go to, to school, he goes to the UW. Um, when he, his first year here, he fell in love with Madison and he said he was going to stay here after he was done with college. We picked him up today to take him to my granddaughter's um, basketball game and I asked him how he liked it and he said, oh, he loved it and he's been having the time of his life and he's doing great in school. He's, he's a frat boy, but he's, his grades, um, he's going into, I believe, corporate law is his major, but he, he is just hilarious, but he got talking. I said, do you still think you're going to stay in Madison when you're done with school and whatever? He said, yeah. he didn't think so. He's going on to grad school and, and he was going to pick wherever it was, someplace that he would stay. And after talking to him, one of the things that I think came into play and made him change his mind so drastically from when he started here was the fact that our winters are so horrible. And he comes from Colorado where they have winters, but no comparison to here. Boy, was there a ton of hot glue on there. Wow. And you know, the trick, if you want to get rid of those little webs of hot glue, you're supposed to take a heat heat, a heat uh, gun and it'll melt them right up. But since my husband redid my office, I don't have that. Um, I don't have hot outlets that are easily accessible. The ones I used to have glued to the wall um, are no longer there. I had way, 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 way too many. There we go. Oops, you probably can't see it there. When I take a picture, I will take really good close-ups on it. And then the last pair here, um, yeah, I'm not going to film that. Um, I already overdid it. So I will go ahead and finish this one up. And just to let you know, too, these will all be going out. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow is President's Day. So, they will be going on Tuesday. Unless there's a chance that FedEx might be open, because I don't know if FedEx always goes with the hours of the post office. And we're probably going to have to send this FedEx anyway, because of the size of the box. It's going to need to go in. And in the pictures, the final pictures that I show, I will show a picture of the board along by the jeans and stuff so you can see it all come together. Alrighty, so guys, I'm going to do this patch and um, go off and do my thing before I get too tired, which I'm probably past that already. I am really doing a crappy job at fitness because it's not how I want it. All right, now I got it. Okay, we are done, and I thank you all for watching, and have a great week. It is Sunday. I don't know when I'll get this uploaded. Probably not till Tuesday or Wednesday, and, um, but just when you see it, and they say have a great week, <laughs> it's Sunday. So the week coming up, have a great week. That's it. Thanks for watching, and Bye-bye. Hi, it's Jill with Cripflex. Believe it or not, I'm back now for round four on the, the the same project that I'm working on. This is how long it's been taking me. Anyway, I'm going to finish up the jacket, the backpack, and I didn't finish with putting the buttons on the jacket. Well, I don't have enough of the ones I used on the other jacket down the front. So I decided I'm going to use something completely different. I have a box of different, really nice buttons and just um, kind of oddball stuff. I had gotten, these look like eight Easter eggs. They're gold and black. Um, I had gotten a big box full of these at like Hobby Lobby, I think, on clearance, and I bought them thinking, I know I will be able to use them. So, I'm using them, but they are buttons. So what I'm doing on the back side, they're good size ones, I'm going to take my little wire cutter here and snap off the back and pray that I don't cut my finger in the process. Okay, because I need four for each one, the front and the back. And then I'm going to go and, um, oh, so far, so good, guys. My husband is right now out 
in his workshop. We had gotten from a, a client of ours that had ordered a, um, a table, a uh, coffee table with the epoxy in it of, I can't remember what the colors, blue and green, I don't know what they are. They represent like fire and, I don't know what the other one was. I, I don't remember, but anyway, the, him and his wife are both in this occupation. One's a firefighter and the other one, uh, I want to say something to do with the hospital, but I don't remember. So anyway, he gave us, the, uh, the, the pieces are like six feet, between six and seven feet long and 18 inches wide. A tree was cut down and I think it was a, like a hickory or a, a very hard tree. And they had cut it in slabs that were two and a half inches thick. He had a ton of it. He gave it to us. Not only did he give it to us, he brought it over here for making that table for him and delivered it. So we've got it all wrapped in um, like plastic outside to try and keep it from getting extremely wet through the, the, the season. But my husband brought one in for the winter because I said, bring him one in. He said, but if you don't have something to do, no, actually two. If you don't have something to do with it, you can um, make just make something. We'll put it on the marketplace. He made a long table that is the full six feet and he used the wrought iron pipes to put the legs on it, but it's live edge wood. And so he left the edge on it and used the slabs that he just finished the top and did epoxy on it. Absolutely awesome. My son wants to uh, wanted it um, for a bar he wants to build in his man cave. And um, he is going to take it, I believe, um, and it's still in our garage, but my husband's sitting in in the um, sitting on the couch, and he's like, "I said, what are you thinking? You're deep in thought." And he says, "I don't have any idea what to do." Um, retirement is not always that much fun, unless you're a traveler, and neither one of us are, so we have no interest in it whatsoever. However, we are talking about going on a cruise. Anyway, um. So he started refinishing, um, sanding down and getting this live edge, the second piece that was left in the garage, getting it ready. And I asked him, what do you plan to do with that? So he didn't know. And I said, well, you need to get another slab in and put the two together and cut the edge off to put two and leave the live edge on the side and make a, a table for my son's bar. Um, but the other one's super wet, so we couldn't do anything with it. So he is out there. I said, cut it in half, cut the live edge off of the one side of each, put the two together where you cut it, so the live edge is on the outside, and make a cocktail table that is three foot square with um, pipe legs. It is going to be so freaking awesome. So that's what he's working on. And that has nothing to do with what I'm doing, but I'm sharing because I'd like to share. Okay. I have added on those little buttons that I said, but by cutting the back of the buttons off, they don't really look like buttons, um, but you will see them in the close-up pictures. And Jay, I wanted to tell you, I'm in the process of trying to upload. Everything that I film on my camera doesn't show up on my computer where I've access to it for a day or two. I don't have any idea why. It's through the cloud and I, I think I have a horrible internet connection. But I do see it's on there, so I'm going to try and get those uploaded today, um, which you're not going to hear and know that because this one's not going to go up today, I don't think. So anyway, now I'm going to do the other side and show you what I did on this side that I don't believe, I don't believe I showed. I may have, where I cut the little pieces of denim, I've already done it, that I'm going to put on these flaps here. There's one on each side, and I'm going to bling bing it. Okay, we got them cut and ready. Um, you know, I'm I'm hoping that, Jay, you absolutely love these because, and I keep calling you Jay because that's what it shows on your, on your orders. And so um, I don't know if that's you or not. But anyway, get the message to Jay if that's not you. But anyway, I'm just giving you a hard time. Um, I... I can't wait for you to see them in person because I sent you pictures, but the pictures don't really show the detail um, of the 
the different um, accent or embellishments that I put on them. So now on this one, what I'm going to do is take my, what I say looks like uh, rhinestones, however it is not. In this, I'm going to outline that patch that I put on and I'm going to go down each of the seams in the back. You know, I probably, you know, I was just going to say I probably shouldn't cut this until I know the length. It doesn't matter because the way that this is all connected, even if I cut it and it's too short to put the next piece on, um, you can lay them, you can piece them and you can't tell because again, they're all attached. So no big deal. So I'm just going to cut a few strips because I need to go down to the back side of the jacket and I need to go around those patches I put on it. Um, and the film that I did on the Jordan shoe boxes, um, I received a picture today of them filled with the chocolate covered strawberries. And number one, she said they were absolutely hit, but they look awesome with the strawberries. And then she found keychains of the Jordan shoes, um, keychain with shoes on it. So she put that in it too. And I believe these were Valentine's Day gifts, but they, they were really, really, really cute. So anyway, I might attach a picture of that on the end. Um, just to show you, because I did do a video on that. I'm going to go around here and do, I think, I can't remember if I had glued to one I did the last one. I guess it doesn't really much matter how I did it, does it? Don't care. And I forgot my tweezers, guys. Picking up um, and staying organized while I'm working is probably not one of my strong suits. Anyway, um... I've been, while I'm getting, picking this hot glue off up here, I, you can just sit and watch me and listen to me. There's not an option here. If you're going to watch, you're going to listen. Um, I was just going on to my Supernatural, uh, Supernatural for the 50 plus it, um, men and women over their 50s. Um, and watching the, like, there's some women that have lost in excess of a hundred pounds doing the Supernatural, um, VR game. I know I talk about it with every video, but I go on a, I go on one of those things that, um, if I get something, my husband always makes fun of me because if I get get doing something that I really like. He said, that's all I talk about. And it's like, I've been like that for my entire life. And I don't anticipate that that's going to change. Probably because I can't change it because I don't realize it. I just thought of it now. But normally I don't even realize it. So anyway, um, been watching those and absolutely blown away at the determination and commitment that these ladies have had, because uh, it's not always easy, you know, you get up and, and um, you're not always in the mood. This last week I'd mentioned I had a really funky mood, funky week. Um, I think I may have had COVID, I'm not sure, but I don't know how my husband and I flew under the radar and didn't get it, because um, I just felt not like, not like myself, and it was the entire week. Yesterday was the first day that I felt somewhat normal. Today I've had a good day. Um, and everything seems to be a thousand times better. Because it was so bad, I was seriously borderline quitting doing this. Thinking that's getting getting to me. Getting too old for all these commitments that I have. But they say you stay busy and taking care of grandchildren the the saying is that it will keep you young and i said as much as i take care of grandchildren i will live longer than methuselah which is the man in the biblical guy that lived over nine i think it was 997 years 
I don't remember exactly. That's how much I um, studied that, but I do know it was Methuselah. And if child like taking care of grandkids helps you live longer and keeps you young, then I'm in. But anyway, there was something else that I had started as usual. I'm trying to cut this off. Oh boy. Ah. Yeah, got my hand, my palm caught in there. Did it cut it or pinch it? Let's see if it's going to bleed. I don't want it to bleed on my jacket. I'm sure you don't want me to bleed on your jacket, Jay. Okay. And one thing I didn't, no, it didn't. Um, I did those outlines there, which I do believe I cut long enough here. This was so much fun to do. It, uh, I didn't want to do that hot glue. Ugh. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick this part in the hot glue. I don't like to use hot glue on some of these things because it shows, and I don't like that. It's just that this this glue is not always the appropriate glue to use. It It's not... I love it, but it's not hot glue. Hot glue dries right away and holds a glue bowling ball to this. But... Right now, I don't want to use hot glue. Blinged up. I will say, it is absolutely blinged up. Now, I'm going to put another strip on. Start my little pile of garbage. It pinched. It pinched my finger, but I really don't think... It, it looks red like it's getting ready to bleed. I guess when I pinched it, it would, would have bled then. I don't think it's going to start five minutes later. But again, I don't want to get... I don't want to get blood on the jacket. And then we have to start all over again. And this is shipping tomorrow. It was supposed to ship today, but it's President's Day, so there's no post office. There's no postal service. So, and Jay, I do believe it's going to end up going FedEx because FedEx um, normal ground service is three day. And they are typically anything in a large box that my husband ships, he ships at FedEx because it's less expensive than the post office. And it's just regular ground, not expedited shipping, which you had mentioned about if it was going to get there in time. Well, typically, typically it gets there within three days. Um, FedEx is awesome. Um, we don't use it for everything just because for just the smaller packages, it's more expensive. But I think that's the route we're going to go and eat my hair. Delicious. I need to put some glitter around that. And this one will be done and ready to join the others. And I'm going to do the backpack. There's very little that I had to do on these, but I thought it'd give you a chance to see them. Um, what else is going on? I started telling you about my husband and the table, and I don't know if I finished. He cut it in half, and he's making the three-inch square uh, coffee table he's leaving the large live edge will be on two sides it can't be on all four sides because uh, when he cut it he you know, when he trimmed or cut the live edge off to book to put the two together I can't explain it guys and I'm sure none of you care but I think it's going to be awesome and I said, if it does turn out really awesome, that would be something he could do with the mounds and mounds of wood that we have. We added on our driveway a couple of years ago, made it, made it so we could put five cars in the drive. And that end where we had the add-on has got a huge mammoth pile of this wood covered in tarp. And I said, he needs to get his little bottom running and make something out of it there we go uh, again I will have close-up pictures there's the fabric that I added on the back and then the little button um, on the sleeve and then these gems running down the back and the patch okay that one is done and ready for the highway now let's do this one 
Okay, first thing I'm going to do, this is going to end up being, I'm going to have to put three videos up of the same uh, party, the same theme, because I'm not getting it done in one or two. I'm taking some stickles of an ocean blue, and I'm just outlining not the entire bag. I'm just outlining some to give it a little bit of an accent and, and stand out the seams on this. And I've got something here fun that I think you were going to like. I hope you are. Again, this was really fun to do. Uh, I love working with um, using fabrics for accents and that using those jeans. I said to my husband yesterday that I needed to do the belt loops. Um, uh, I, it turned out I had enough to do the belt loops on all of the jeans that I did. However, he said, he said to me, well, just take more of mine if you need them. Um, cause he, he, he goes to Goodwill and buys blue jeans for work. Um, because when he's working out on his furniture, he is covered in stain and paint and God only knows what else is all over him. Um, and so I said, I'm not going to go to Goodwill to buy them because they're still like seven or eight dollars a pair. Well, I'm not going to spend seven or eight dollars on these along with all the other things that I had to, to get. So I cut up the ones that he'd already gotten pretty messed up. The pockets weren't messed up, though. They were good. I'm going to take this. This is that cup. Or I don't know what color this is. And I don't think it says on here what color. But it's the Liquid Pearls from Ranger. And I'm going to outline the seams up here. The seam on the top of the backpack. The backpack. I love this stuff. I wonder if I did it. I hope I did it on the other side. Yep, I can feel it. I really like the uh, liquid pearls. I think that I like the best are the Ranger liquid pearls. I like the Nouveau. However, the Nouveau um, doesn't dry as quickly. And if I put too much on, like I want to have something really pop it pop out, it doesn't it doesn't work. It, it starts to melt down on me. I have no idea what that. Okay, now I have. These are not keychains. They're just all-purpose hooks that I use on my, when I make scrapbooks um, from scratch where I make the chipboard scrapbooks. I use these to add little trinkets to hang on them. Um, and I thought, and they have a little chain on them. So I'm going to put it at the top of your backpack where the opening is and this would be something that whoever's going to wear this backpack can add on uh, whatever they want to hang from their little hook there. This one I am going to hot glue on. So I'm going to do the chain first. And the end of the chain will not be glued down, the very tip. It will be free. And then I'm gonna bring it around, curve it around, and glue it, hot glue it. It fit just perfect in this spot. And I was so excited because I like, I, I say it over and over and over again, I love adding textures and accents. And when I mean textures or, or, or um, fibers. A lot of times I use the term fiber or te again textures. It just means something that isn't just flat paper. It's 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 whatever. I am losing my thoughts. I've got quite a bit of stuff I need to get done here. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I was going to do this last night and then when I realized it couldn't ship anyway didn't uh didn't even think of the president's day that had they had a day off in my honor doggone it 
I've contributed to, a, I don't know what, but somewhere along the line I've contributed something. Oh, that was black glitter I did on that. Just looking for another. This is going to end up being an hour long too. I'm not going to let it be though. I will shut it off. That's only 20 minutes. We're good. We're good, guys. Okay. Now, what was the other thing that I did to this? That full stitching in here. Here they are. Here they are. This almost looks like a rose gold. I don't know what it is. But I really like it. I have them in all colors, but this one I used only so that everything was in the same uh, color family. I didn't want to be using something different on every one because I want them to flow. Oh, hey, almost there, almost there. I have a little hand um, sewing thing that I got so that you could do your actual stitching, your real, real live sewing, uh, like on scrapbooking. And I thought it was so cool and I wanted it so bad, but when I use it, it works perfect. But the minute I am done and cut the thread at the end, there's no backup to knot it or anything. So whenever I cut the end, it starts to unravel. So I don't use it because I was going to go on and do these with some real stitching, but I didn't want it coming apart. So that's going to be it. I'll take some pictures. You know what? I just realized, I don't think that you saw anything that I did on this. Um, there's the buckle up there and the faux stitching. And then there's the faux stitching down here. I use black glitter on the little... Um, Navy thing, but I did not realize, guys. I am so sorry. You can't see anything. I thought that was set the same as yesterday, but it's not. So, anyway, I'm done. No more on this. This one is done. And on all the videos, I'm going to put all the pictures because I don't want to be separating, And but I'm not going to upload it as one. I'm going to upload it as probably three, at least two, but possibly three. I've got to see how long they are so I don't drive y'all nuts. But thanks a lot for watching. Um, hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, I if, if I keep up the way I've been today or yesterday, I think my week will be good. I'm feeling good. All right, now if I can find my camera on here, my watch is so scratched up. But anyway, thank you and see you next time.